Hello cat people! How are you today? I am Cat Lady Antigone and today we are doing a body paint! In today's body paint I'm gonna do another character from Mortal Kombat and this time I will go with Kitana. Kitana is again a very very nice and beloved character of mine and although that the hair doesn't match I will try to do my best at the body paint part in order to make it as realistic as possible. You know that I am pre-filming a little bit so now by the time that I'm filming this video with Kitana body paint I haven't posted yet the other video with Jade body paint but but I have uploaded the post on my Instagram page so if you don't know my Instagram is catladyandigoni it's gonna be down here as always you can visit me there you can look at this post you can zoom in if you want to see more details anyway back to the topic so I received a lot of positive comments there that's why I decided to make a series with all the Mortal Kombat female players maybe males in the future I don't know yet I'm not sure yet but anyway a lot of Mortal Kombat body paint are coming so if you're ready for this specific one let's start glasses are on my hair was ready from before I have a very nice cup of warm coffee and basically I'm ready to start so as always I'm gonna start with this pencil right here this is from NYX professional makeup pretty violet and I'm going to draw some lines The lines are here and let me tell you, it took quite a lot of time. So now I'm gonna continue by using the palette right here from Mehron Makeup. And from this palette I'm gonna take the blue and I'm gonna fill all the blue part of this outfit, dress, whatever it is. And then I will continue with the metallics aka the silver. But first of all, let me take some water, let me activate this color and let's start drawing. Next step is to take this light blue right here. This is from Yulin Spiegel, but unfortunately it doesn't have a name on it, so I don't know how to call it. I will try to find the link for this and put it down below at the description box. So yeah, with this one, I'm gonna fill these two lines. Before I do the shading or the lighting, I wanna make sure that I have finished with the metallic parts of my outfit. So I'm gonna start from this palette from You Can Be. It's called Athena. I'm gonna take the silver from here. And as you know from previous video, this is not enough for me because this is not opaque enough. So I'm gonna take this palette from Makeup Academy. This is the Frosted Gleam. And I'm gonna take a very nice silver that it has this one right here so after i finish with the body paint i will take a clean brush and i will tap 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 everything with the silver from the palette as you can see a lot of steps have been done here but don't worry because also as you can see only one side is completely fixed or not actually one side you see half and half i would say so first of all i added shadows there so i'm gonna do exactly the same for you to see it and i'm gonna start from this basically i used a combination of three shadows this is the lightest brown shadow that I used. This is the skin color that I used to blend everything into my skin color and that was the darkest in order to create that shadow. So let's start from this and I'm gonna explain that metallic part as well. The shadows are here and now we are about to do the other metallic part. I decided not to use the silver again because I don't want to make that shiny. So if you remember at the last body paint I have created my own grey right here and of course I kept it because I know that grey is very very useful. So I'm gonna use this grey and on the top as a highlight I'm gonna use the white body paint. It doesn't have a lid because the lid contains the grey you know. So so this is from Julian Spiegel, Vice as always. We are just waiting for it to finish to change it basically. So let's do it! I'm gonna tell you a few things right here. First of all, I have made another hole here. I hit another pal in this palette. Yay! 
Secondly, I have barely finished with that, but I need to do the eyeliner in order to put a limit where it is. So I'm gonna use, of course, my favorite one from NYX Professional Makeup. This is the Epic Ink Eyeliner Limited Edition from the collaboration that NYX had with La Casa de Papel. So with this eyeliner right here, I'm gonna mimic the black line to this side. I have done some extra steps here. First of all, I added some shadows at this part to make the outfit a little bit more 3D. Secondly, I added a light there and then I added extra shadow there. I'm gonna do all the steps on this side on camera in order to make sure that you will understand them. So, first of all, I'm gonna take the black eyeshadow from my James Charles palette this one right here and I'm gonna apply it, let me show you where, first of all here to create a shadow on the metal part and then secondly here in order to make a deeper part uh, on the outfit. Then I will take a combination again of this and this shadow and I'm gonna make the outfit, dress more 3D on the inner part, on my skin directly and then I will take from NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner, as always, the white though and then I will go there and I will highlight this part. I just removed my glasses, you know what does this mean? It's time for the face makeup! Basically, as always, my first step is to prime my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion and let me tell you that today's makeup is gonna be kinda bluish with silver hints and I'm so excited because you know how much I love doing blue makeups, eye looks and stuff like that. So I'm gonna use my palettes and I'm gonna explain you step by step the whole procedure. I'm gonna start doing my eyes by using two palettes basically. First of all, this tiny, tiny cutie right here from We Makeup. We Makeup is an indie Italian brand. I think I have showed you this palette before, but basically I'm gonna use the gray from here where I want to smoke out the blue that I'm gonna use from this palette right here. This is from Beauty Bay, Age of Opulence, and if you see, it has some beautiful, beautiful, deep, dark blues. Uh, which I think I'm gonna use a lot, so for sure I'm gonna go and start with Lavish right here and then I will go to Surf You? Am I saying it correctly? But anyway, these two basically, so let's go! Okay, I have created that bluish grey base right here, I mean isn't it beautiful? It's blue, it's nice. And then I'm gonna go with Norms from Uden's Eye and I'm gonna take this shadow right here. No, 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 actually this one right here, which seems so promising to me, I just lose the plastic. Oops, anyways, I'm gonna clean it properly and then I will put it back. Don't worry, I am a clean person in general. So this is called Self and I feel that it's gonna be a duochrome between purple and blue. To me this is perfect. This is perfection. Of course I'm gonna prime my eye with Glitter Me Up from Paint Glow. I'm gonna put an amount on my hand because it's always great to use a primer before you use any shimmer, metallic, in order to make sure that you will have, you know, the best of its quality. It's here, so let's do it! Wow, like, can you see the shift? It's the most amazing duochrome that I have ever tried and I know that I get so excited every time that I use a duochrome and I say that it's the best but look at it, it's blue with purple, what else can I ask for? Anyway, let's move on, let's move on because I can stay there and talk forever about that, like I love it so much and actually it's the first time that I'm using the whole palette and if everything is as this shadow, I'm already in love with this, oh my god, wooden side, like top notch brand, I love it! Let's move on though. So, next I'm gonna use this palette right here. This is from Linda Hanberry Spectral Palette. And from this palette, I'm gonna take the Abstract, which is a very nice shimmery blue. And with this, I'm gonna match the Duochrome with the matte. I'm gonna finish this look again with this palette from We Makeup. And I'm gonna use this, oh my god, 
almost almost but it survived wow so i'm gonna use this one right here it's semi duochrome basically it's a silver with green shift and i feel that's gonna go perfectly with the duochrome from wooden side so i'm gonna take a brush i'm gonna spray some fixing spray from aiden and then i'm gonna use it Next step is to apply falsies and although that I'm not usually showing you this step this time I want to show you because I'm applying these special lashes these are from makeup store Swedish indie brand and these are so unique look at them <laughs> they're wow anyway I'm gonna use my lash glue from Duo and I feel that you have seen that at some previous tutorial so I just want to show you the lashes and the whole procedure will be in fast forward okay I have finished with the eyelashes and let me tell you I struggled a lot they are not the best quality out here they are way too plastic I would say if you understand you understand anyway let's move on let's start with the base so first of all I'm gonna use from NYX professional makeup the marshmallow primer oh my god this has an amazing smell I love using it Anyway, after that I'm gonna do a combination of foundations from Aiden and from Lumene. I think that you have seen that a million times, so I'm not gonna even show it to you at all. But I will start the filming again when I'm about to do, you know, the blush, the highlighting and all the cool stuff. So, bye for now and I'm coming back with my base. Let me tell you very very quickly what I have done until now. So, except from the base, I have also used this concealer right here. This is from Cosas Cosmetics. Also, I have used this highlighter from Glossier, Pale Pearl. I think it's discontinued and I have told myself to stop showing to you because you cannot buy it, but I love it, so what can you do? Uh, also, I have applied my blush this is from Annabelle Minerals. It's a very nice subtle blush. I don't know if it has a name. Yes, it has. It's called Rose. And now I'm about to apply my bronzer. As always, I'm gonna take this broken one right here. This is from Sunkist. And I'm gonna take this brush right here. This is from Revolution. And I will apply my bronzer as always. Is shine ever enough? Let me answer. No, of course not. Did you say yes? Come on. So I'm gonna add some extra highlighter from this palette, that duochrome, because I have it on my eyes and I really, really enjoy it. And I want kind of to combine it with my eyes. So I'm taking kind of big brush. This is from MUA. I cannot find the code. It's fine. And I will apply it here at my highest points of my face. To seal this face makeup, I'm gonna use this powder right here, Breezy Cloud Set from Cosas Cosmetics. And as you can see, I have used a lot. This Kabuki brush is from TK Cosmetics, a Swedish indie brand which specializes in mineral makeup. Very good makeup people. I have a review video if you wanna see it, so you can check what else we have in this channel. And now it's time for the Greek word of the day. Since I have already told you the word, all the words for Mortal Kombat, you can go at my older video where I'm doing Jade and you can find how to say this in Greek. Today I will go with the word fight. So in Greek we say palevo. Actually, a fun fact here, we have three words to describe that. Both, all of them have different meanings. So we have palevo, malono, monomacho, Many words, but let's stay to Palevo today. Pa, le, vo. As always, I'm gonna ask you to try to write a comment down below using the word Palevo. And actually, you can say this in your own native language. And if you know the other words that I mentioned, you can say them as well. Let's go, people! I know that Kitana as a character wears mask pretty much all the time, but since I want to avoid that, I'm thinking of her having a very nice crimson red lip color. So for this, I'm gonna use this pencil right here. You have seen this a million times. It's from NYX Professional Makeup the Copenhagen. And also I'm gonna use this lipstick. This is from Isadora. Can you guess what? A Swedish brand. 
not in this time it's called Chelsea Red so I'm gonna use them together and hopefully I will have that crimson result that I want What do you think about the makeup so far? If you actually like it, I have another video where I'm doing Jade from Mortal Kombat and if you want to see more characters, don't forget to leave a comment down below saying the name of the character that you want to see and I will try to do my best to have it. Also, if you're into cosplay and all this cool stuff, you can find more videos here at my channel where I'm doing other video game characters or body paints in general, so don't forget to subscribe subscribe in order to get all the notifications from the videos that are coming and if you want to support me a little bit more you know you can do you can like this video so i will get a little bit more promoted by the algorithm thank you so so much for being here with me today see you next time and till then bye bye